Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And speaking of the subscribe button, we are getting really close to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm so greatly appreciative. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna have a giveaway. It's actually gonna be two giveaways and um, I'll do them in two separate videos, but both on the same day. So once we hit 10,000 subscribers, please keep a look out for that um, if you're interested in the giveaway. And today I am going to share with you a Dollar Tree crafting haul. So this Dollar Tree crafting haul is really kind of small, not a lot to it, but I got a couple items that I thought were amazing that I just really wanted to share because I don't think they're gonna last very long and um, that way you can get out and get them. And then also I do have some video that I'm gonna put after I show you everything because when I was going through the store, oh my gosh, there is so many great fall and Halloween items. And so especially like if you're someone who wants to do a wreath and things. Now I didn't get any, I am just so overwhelmed right now with my time that I'm not buying anything extra to make that's going to make myself feel like, oh, I need to make this, I need to make that. So I did choose not to get them just because it would give me anxiety on trying to get things finished. So um, but I did video it in case you want to see what's out there. I thought it was great. All right, so I'm going to get into this haul and I'll show you what I got. All right. So everything that I got is really with the purpose of doing crafts. Okay, so um, this may not be new. They may have been out but my store only carries white. So I buy those white pillar candles and I melt them down to make other candles. And then I melt down the little wax melts or I use um, candle coloring in order to color them. Well, if, you're, if you want to make some candles this season and you really want to you know, try and stick to Dollar Tree as much as possible. I got these. So look at these beautiful colors. So when I melt these down, um, I normally use the white ones and melt them down. And then I will use the wick that's still in there to put them in whatever molds I want. So these are great. You just put them in boiling water and let them melt. So this gives purple, I got yellow, I've got peach, and I've got blue. So these I am so excited for. So I'm gonna be melting these down and reusing this candle wax to make some candles. And then along with that, I got these two candle trays because I have some candles that I'm going to make and I feel like these will be perfect for them. So these are so nice. Now, as far as putting vinyl on the back of them, this is very bumpy, but you know, you can definitely like paint this on the bottom and it's gonna show through here, through the glass and it's going to be fine because you know, your candle, even if you use a pillar candle that's not in a container, you know, it's still only on the glass. So you could color the bottom, you could glitter the bottom. So these I'm going to be using as I'm doing decor. So this is gonna be very helpful. Now, like I said, this is not a very big haul, but I really did get some cool stuff. All right, so if you do tumblers or stuff like that, now is the time to get these. So you can not always find them in the Dollar Tree, 
but when you do, you pick them up. So this is just fishnets. Um, when the Dollar Tree didn't have them and I had to get them from Target, they were like $7. So these are perfect crafting fishnets. So if you do tumblers, and you want to do scales, you want to do um, like a fishing lure tumbler, you want to do a mermaid tumbler, a dragon scales, like this goes over top and then you do your painting, pull it off and you have your scaled look. So now is the time to pick up these mesh um, pantyhose. So there's those. And then I did get this pair also. That one's plain. They only had one pair of plain. So I went ahead and got these. Um, you know, the thing is I cut them into pieces to use them anyways. This one does have like these skeletons on it. But I did think that that might be useful. So I'm going to have to think about, you know, how using that but otherwise you know that you could still definitely use the mesh but I got this because I thought oh this you know might come in handy it might make a good spray you know what I mean so I'm gonna try it so we got those and we're knocking stuff over because you know I always do all right I lied to you I got one thing that is not um, for crafting and I did get two packs of these. They're these little um, Curad, Curad first aid portable packs, 15 like different little band-aids in there. And you know, I thought this was good to just stick in my purse. All right, so. All right, so I picked up this. So I am going to use this to make a couple different fall bowls. And this is going to be my template to make those. And then I got this colander. This is a size for what I want. And then the anything, you know, extra liquid is going to be able to come out. So look for that. We'll be doing a project with this and making some fall bowls. All right. So this, these are the ones that I just really wanted to show you these and the pantyhose. I couldn't believe these. These are so nice. And I already have a plan for these. So actually, I have something that I've been wanting to do that I needed the right vessel for it and this is going to be perfect but look these are cement cement and glass how perfect is that so we've got some uh, different little patterns there so i have a really great candle idea for this and i'm probably if I can stay up, I'll probably do these tonight. So you may see these tomorrow, um, but I'm so excited to do these. This is going to be, look at this. This is so beautiful and it's high end looking. You could do so much with this. Like this is going to be perfect. I'm so excited to use this. And then one more pack of Band-Aids. And then I told you this is a very, very small haul. And then the bubble snap. They say that this is very satisfying. It's not as good as um, popping bubble pop, I'm sorry. I mean, I can see how this might be satisfying for a little five-year-old sitting at their desk or whatever, but this,
just not the same. This is super satisfying. I keep this at my desk. Some of them are already popped because when I just want to, you know, this is what I do. Get rid of my stress. All right, so, but this I got because I've been seeing all the hacks where people are putting um, like M&M candies and stuff in here and then making little chocolate bars. So I'm gonna um, make them and see how that works. So that's what this is for. And that's it, that is my haul. I told you, very small, but I'm super excited about it. I'm excited about the colorful candles so if you need candle wax but you know it's kind of expensive for experimenting and you know just making some little gifts there you go and actually i knew there was one more thing i lied hold on one more blackberry nutmeg and white birch so these are what i i use these and i melt them down to make the white candles colorful and to add scent to them. So you could even use these in here, but this was a scent I hadn't seen before. And um, blackberry nutmeg and white birch. So these are gonna be really nice. All right, so anyways, there it is. That's my haul. I'm excited about these and I can't wait to share. And listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay happy. See you later. Bye.